Hi, in this video I will explain you uh, simple ways to remove istartsurf.com browser hijacker that infects Google Chrome, Mozilla, Firefox and Internet Explorer. I have live infection on my uh, virtual PC, virtual machine. Uh, and uh, I will explain you step-by-step -step process uh, how to remove it and what tools to use to remove it easy. First of all, of course, you need to try it to remove it from control panel, you need to find I start for, uh, I start surf uh, uninstall entry and try to uninstall it. Uh, it sometimes in normal mode uh, this will not work and it will give you such an error that you do not have sufficient access to uninstall it. In this case uh, you can boot in safe mode and go to control panel from safe mode and uninstall this entry. 99% uh, of cases it will work. Uh, but still, if you don't don't know how to use safe mode or don't want to use it, um, you can uh, use uh, quality anti malware programs that uh, have I start surf uninstall in the database. Some of them are paid, some of them are free. So first of all, uh, the best one is Spy Hunter. Uh, this is only free to scan, but it will gives you it will give you uh, correct results, and you can use them uh, for manually. To manually remove um, files and folders it will find because it finds actual infections. Uh, I have registered version that's why I will just click uh, remove threads uh, and uh, it will prepare or nestle actions to uh, remove iStarSurf because this is a well-known infection. Unfortunately classic antiviruses cannot remove it. And the second one is malware by anti malware uh, that found a bit less results, but still uh, quite a lot, 151 result. I will give you all download links in the description. Malware bytes is uh, free to scan and fix. Uh, the only paid option is uh, uh, active protection. Uh, and the next uh, step will be using a very cool uh, utility from Avest called Avest Browser Cleanup. The link is also under this video in the description. This tool can uh, help you with two things. First of all, it will help you to remove unwanted browser extensions because some of them are used to set up uh, these uh, hijacker pages in your browsers. So just remove all uh, low rated extensions using Avest Browser Cleanup. And then you can uh, reset uh, home page, new tab, and default search engine settings by clicking one button and choosing preferred uh, page as your startup page. So you don't need to walk through all these manual instructions. Um, and just do it with a couple of clicks. But there are still. Um, uh, can be issues after you use these tools, possibly. Uh, that's why I prefer uh, to perform some other steps. But first of all, we will check how our, br our browsers are doing after using uh, all these tools. As you can see, uh, Internet Explorer is clean and uh, Google uh, is set as a default search engine and home page. You can opt out to Bing. Um, so, and let's check other browsers. Uh, this is uh, Mozilla Firefox. And uh, Google is also a default home page and search engine. There is no uh, malicious extensions because we removed them with Spy Hunter, Malwarebytes, and Avis Browser Cleanup. And uh, you can clean up maybe your search engines using uh, Firefox um, settings, but really it's a necessary step. Let's check Google Chrome. We need to make a minor cleanup in the Google Chrome because uh, all these tools helped us to get rid of this page uh, as default but still we need to remove it from the list so to be careful to be safe 
uh, from the risk of being uh, infected with this page again. So we're going to manage search engines and remove iStar Surf from the list by clicking cross. I will also remove ESC and AOL um, search engines because they're useless. You can also use uh, reset settings in advanced settings in Google Chrome to completely reset your browser. So what uh, I will do, I will go to program files folders and check for suspicious folders. Some of them uh, maybe will not remove, will not be removed, uh, because you just need to restart a computer uh, to make, uh, to let uh, anti-malware programs remove them. For example, SFK uh, folder is obviously malicious folder, as, as well as two uh, WDS Man Pro two is also a malicious folder. Uh, because it shouldn't be there, I don't have such programs. So, and the uh, other important steps, you go to users, username, application data, local folder, uh, going to the temp folder then, you can stop the video and look at the path, and uh, remove all the files in here, because um, hijackers use this folder to reinstall itself. Thanks for watching, uh, check out the links in the description, subscribe to my channel, goodbye.